All right, the epistle of John. Now, we do have, which is 1 John. I want to read to you. So, first of all, let me say this up front. We had an interesting conversation in the community last night about the name, and I put this kind of video up on channel one, this is channel two, about the name of the Lamb. He has many names, folks, and so dogmatically we have folks out there that would accuse the brethren, sisters you are part of that, about what name you should call Jesus Christ. Well, his Jewish name, and let's be clear, Hebrew is a tongue, because the Bible calls it a tongue. It's a speech, it's a language, it's how to count, how to write, like Arabic is for Muslim. I don't, you know, we can use all kind of devices to score the time, to know it, where we are, different kind of calendars, moons, whatever. That's all good. I got no problem with that. But when someone says straight away, flat out of their mouth, that Jesus' name 934 times in the Bible is a pagan name because they changed his name. 934 times, which is the number 16. 16 is the number of love. For God so loved the world. John 3, 16. The number and the word love and 16 go together. 934 is 16. How many times is name Jesus is in the Bible? The name that is above every name. So we have people out here who are dogmatic about the name of Jesus. And it's not a real name. The word, the letter J ain't in, in the Hebrew alphabet. Of course we know that. But to tell somebody that when they were lost and when they were sick and they were down and out that when they called on the name of Jesus Christ that didn't do anything well through personal testimony I can tell you is that name fixed me up it fixed me right up okay now let's get to I was going to do Holy Spirit led and fed. But Holy Spirit had me look something up while I was just sitting there talking to you guys. So I put a video up similar to channel one. This is going to be channel two's video about the name of Jesus Christ. And so when people say that the name of Jesus Christ is pagan or it's not a real name because that's not his Jewish name name it's 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 not the j is not in the hebrew alphabet come on with that foolishness folks at the name of jesus demons and devils obey might sound like pig, pig latin but they obey okay at the name of jesus now yeshua hamashiach that's what we know Yeshua, Yahshua, okay? We can get clerical with all these names, right? But let me read to you something. Let's go to Philippians 2 and 9. Philippians 2 and 9. Let's start at verse 8. No, uh... Okay. Because all of these verses start with a but and an and is continuation, so I don't want to miss the meat. 
Let's start at verse five. Let this be in your mind, comma. Let this be in your mind. This is what verse five says. Philippians chapter two, verse five. Let this be in your brain, even down in your crawl space, which was also in Jesus Christ. So we had a yo-yo last night and I kept asking this dude, if you say the name of Jesus is wrong, then the Bible is wrong. And he couldn't, he kept coming with this flat earth garbage. I'm sorry, folks, if that's what y'all believe. That's what y'all get into. I don't get into that because it ain't got nothing to do with salvation. So this is how you know when people are full of it. When you can't answer the question and you keep deflecting and going back to something else that ain't got nothing to do with the topic that you started in the, in the chat. See, so when you get into this discord room and you start talking crazy, all the wolves come out on you. They be biting at you. You're going to call the Bible wrong. That's what you're doing. Jesus, that's not his name. And we got a lot of people to do that. But yet, our shotgun, our artillery, the bullets in this gun say Jesus. I get what the Hebrews say. I, I have no disrespect for that. You even hear me say that a lot on both channels. I call him by his Jewish name. But let's be real. Let's be clear as, as a glass of water. Most of us, when we was down and out and sick with sin and transgression, we got on our knees and we called out the name of Jesus. Let this be in your mind which is also in Christ Jesus, the reference is Matthew 11 and 25, who, comma, being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Then this dude says, oh, they ain't got no equal. And you got these fools out here to say, well, ain't no such thing as the Trinity. Jesus said himself, now, God said one time in Isaiah, he said, there's no other God above me or before me. But God in the flesh is Jesus Christ. This is a hot topic for a lot of folks. Okay. But we going by what Bible say. Not you sending me a link to some other person and they study. What does the word say? Who, verse six, being in the form of God, comma, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Verse seven, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. And being fashioned, verse eight, found and being found in fashion as a man, God in the flesh, he humbled himself, comma, and became obedient unto death because he knew he had to die and take the sin of the world and drop it off him at Satan's feet in hell and then whoop him, made a show of him openly. That's what I call it. He whooped him and took the keys of authority because in the book of Mark, it clearly says chapter nine, he gave us those keys of authority. But people are trying to take them keys and stick them in keyholes that don't exist. And was made like unto men. Being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Even the death of the cross. Here it is right here. Okay. Notice that this verse has a star next to it, which means this is important. We talking about the name of Jesus Christ. Wherefore, God also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. What does verse 10 say? What do it say? Oh, 
Let's see what verse 10 says. And that name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth, things under the earth. Okay? So, if you say that the name of Jesus is pagan, then I'm going to I'm going to boldly say that you are grieving the Holy Ghost. Let me hit it for you one more time. Verse 10. Philippians chapter 2 verse 10. No, let's go back up to verse 9. Wherefore God also highly exalted him. Okay? And given him a name which is above every name. Do you hear what the Bible say? Not me. I'm reading you scripture. God said, well, here, here go the uh, here, here, here go the pelts with the excuse. Well, the book was written by this person, and then the book was written in the, the most powerful book in the world. People want to read it and spit in it at the same time. This is what the Bible says. He was given a name that's above every name. Well, you have to understand that the Catholics and the Romans and the What does the Bible say? Not your feelings say. Let me hit it for you one more time. Wherefore God also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. And what's that name? Verse 10. 10 is the number of completion. 9 is the number of finality. So to make it final, God said, in final speaking, I exalted him and gave him a name above every name. And so the completion of that name, that name of Jesus, every knee shall bow comma that means to chew on that that's what the comma is there for all right so you yo-yos and slinkies okay that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow the name of jesus is above every name on earth god said and this is god that did it abba our father hallowed be his name which are in heaven now argue with that i dare you to step in front of this bullet and say that god is wrong and you're right i double dog dare you to do Deuteronomy 13 30 and 19 I double I dare you to say that that's wrong because at the end of the day every word shall be judged every action shall be judged both good and bad and if you get out here and you step in front of this bullet, in front of this Mack truck that says God ordained it. God gave his son the name Jesus Christ. And he made that name above every name. And at that name, every knee shall bow. It ain't going to bow to, to, to Charlie Brown. To Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, it ain't going, ain't nobody, the only name that every knee, not to Fauci, not to Gates, not to Oprah, not to Obama, not to, not to uh, uh, Trump, but the name of Jesus Christ. That's the name printed in this book.
934 times that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth and that every tongue shall confess get, uh, uh, confess what? that the Cleveland Browns that the Detroit Lions that the Chiefs that Beyonce no that they shall all every Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Let's stop right there. For all you Hebrew dumbalites and all the rest of you jokers running around here talking about that name ain't nah, 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 nah. okay well that's the book. God ordained that name. He set that name above every name. And every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. Deal with that. Philippians. God gave Jesus his name. Because in, in John, 1 John, it says, In the beginning was the word. So according to the Bible, before his name was Jesus in the flesh, his name was the word. The word of God. God spoke the word and Jesus went out and created. There was nothing made that's made that wasn't made by Jesus Christ. When God said, let there be light, the word of God, Jesus came out of his mouth and created. Let us make man in our image. Now, Get your panties and your drawers and your diapers and a bunch if you want to. I just read you Bible. Okay? Just read your Bible. So hopefully, people can come. Well, I, you know, there's going to be some people that go to the wall banging their forehead up against it. That's wrong, brother. That's wrong. I can hear it now. That's wrong. They're going to step in front of this bullet. But see, I didn't write the book. If the Word of God is the Bible... And the word of God is Jesus Christ, the son. Then you ain't arguing with me. <laughs> you arguing with the most high. And you're going to stand before his throne in judgment one day. And you're going to have to answer why you denied his name. A lot of things we doing right now on this earth, people think it's cool because you don't see no immediate repercussions. But guess what? It's coming. It's coming, folks. Deuces.